Witches, welcome back to Vitaly Style. Today, look at me wiggling around. <laughs> Today I'm doing my October favorites and I also wanted to say I missed you and I'm sorry I was only here for one day last week. It was just a bit of a hectic week. We went to New York a couple times and just a lot of work going on, but I am happy to be here and share my favorites with you. And I also missed like my bi-weekly favorites, but I am going to start bringing them back every Monday because I know so many of you love them and I love doing them because it made me just shop my stash a lot more. So I'm going to start bringing, I'm going to bring back my weekly favorites starting, well, starting today. But today is actually my monthly favorite, so it's like three weeks of weekly favorites, and I'll save like the very best, best, best for last for my monthly favorites. Okay. I have a couple flops, which I don't like, but I also have some great favorites. So let's get started right away. Some of these, most of these, I'm wearing today because that's what I'm going to start doing. If I'm going to include, um, if I'm going to include them in my favorites, I figure I might as well put them on my face. The first things first, the foundation. I am so loving this foundation. It's great coverage, really long lasting. It uh, doesn't have a really luminous finish, which is great for when I'm filming for Laura in the kitchen. And the foundation I'm talking about is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Makeup. Oh, I know this. It just matches my coloring perfect. The color I'm in is 320 Bisque. And I love this. Again, it's great coverage, medium to really full coverage. Um, not a luminous finish, but it's great for when I'm filming. It doesn't make me look sweaty or oily or anything like that. But I do like to set it like I do any foundation. And the powder I have been just ooing and eyeing over this month. And I've been wearing this pretty much, I've been wearing this foundation pretty much every time I wear foundation. And it is the... Uh, it's by Physicians Formula and it is called the Multicolored Press Powder in the color beige. And it's one of these little doodads that's got a lot of different colors in it. But it's just all together. It's the perfect color and it just sets your makeup ever so beautifully so it doesn't feel cakey or heavy. And it's just, oh, you have to try it. I'm, I'm wearing this combination on my face today and I wanted to share it with you. Next face product is pretty much my favorite blush of life at the very moment, and it is my Estee Lauder blush in Brazen Bronze, and it is, this blush is everything. This blush, it is so beautiful, I don't know what to do with myself, and I want to kick myself for not owning more Estee Lauder products, because I really have never... The truth is, I don't love Estee Lauder's packaging. Their packaging somewhat throws me off because I remember, like, my um, my stepmom's mom, she used to wear Estee Lauder a lot. So, to me, the packaging just reminds me that it's, it just makes me feel like it's geared towards an older person. I don't know. It's just, I'm so weird. I'm so bizarre. It's not even funny. But it, it is and I also don't like that you can see all my fingerprints on it. It drives me crazy. But it is a beautiful blush. I believe I got this like 20% off of Nordstrom when I got it a while ago. It is stunning. Absolutely stunning. The color is... It's just... Like, there's no... I don't know if you can see that. There's no like powdery residue. Do you see that? And there's me. There's no powdery residue. There's a color right there. It's gorgeous. If you love like a bronzy blush, bronzy look, you'd need this in your life. And I see that this would work really well for all, like all year long. It would work really great for this fall and winter. It will work really great for summer. So, ooh. Mm. Next up, this is something else I used more in the beginning of the month because I ran out. This was just a sample. This is the... Peter Thomas Roth CC Cream, Complexion Correcting, yada, yada, yada. I had a sample of this, and I do plan on picking up the full bottle when I go to Sephora this week, uh, which is another thing I want to remind you. If any of you are VIB members, know that Sephora is having an event this Wednesday from uh, 7 to 9. Well, my local Sephora anyway, um, in Dep the one in Deptford, they're having an event from 7 to 9. For all their VIB members, you can bring a guest and you get 20% off your whole purchase or you can use that online as well if you are a VIB member. Um, so I plan on doing some Christmas shopping. I plan on doing a lot of um, picking up a few things I've been eyeing. And this is one of the things I'm picking up because this is awesome. 
This is such a wonderful product. I hate that I can't share it with you because you can see it came in this little, um, it was a sample, but I'm all, I'm all out. I used the entire medium to tan and light to medium. I started with medium to tan and then as my tan is fading a bit from my vacation, I was using the um, light to medium and it is a gorgeous product. I mean, really for a CC cream, it's kind of like a foundation. It gives you great coverage. It's so moisturizing. It's luminous, but not greasy. It's just it's awesome and I absolutely love it and I cannot wait to pick up. In fact, I'm saving this, well, one, one, one reason is because I wanted to share it with you, but another reason is because I want to remind myself that I need to pick up a big version of this. Just love, it's a great, great product. If you are of aging skin and you don't want to wear something that's too heavy or cakey or you're afraid that a foundation is going to give you too heavy of a coverage or that a BB cream or CC cream might not give you enough coverage, I think this is best for you. I hate to say this because I love Kristen and she knows how much I love my um, Girl on BB cream, but I like this even more. I It's just, oh, I love it. I just love, 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 love this. If you um, if you haven't tried it, I think you should try, give it a try. It's just awesome. So love that. Then the next products are going to be eye products. This is a base I've been using so often. It's not even funny and it doesn't look like I used any of it, even though I've been using it for a long time and I've had this for a while, but this is the paint pot from Mac in Indian wood. It's a gorgeous like copper. It's right here. It's a gorgeous copper base. I'm wearing this today. And over top of that, let me grab a little schmigiggy, AKA makeup remover wipe. Um, on top of that, I'm wearing this baby. It's gorgeous. Speaking of Kristen, I am wearing the little palette that she made uh, with Camp Cosmetics. This is the KGB palette and it is called, uh, it's called the KGB palette. It's the Kristen Game Beauty Limited Edition Eye Palette Holiday 2014. They released this early. I think it's because he was just having so much, so many requests for it and it is beautiful. Now, I, Kristen knows I'm a very honest person and I would, if I didn't think it was great, I would have said, eh, I think you could do better, but she knows it just is just a beautiful palette. The thing is, the colors are not the most unique colors of all time. They're kind of like basic colors, but done so well. And if you love those bronzy, coppery colors, this is the palette for you. It is just gorgeous. I'm going to sh swap, swap. I can't even talk. Swatch a few of them. Look at this cream color. I mean, it's no joke. This is the first one. This is the second one, which is like a light taupey color. Such a beautiful palette. And I'm wearing this today. Today I am wearing this color right over here, which is a beautiful bronzy taupe, totally up my alley. Right over here. I'm wearing that all over the lid over top of Indian wood. And then I'm wearing this gold. I pressed it right into the center, not too heavily because I didn't want it to be too gold, but this is the thing about this palette right over here. They're pigmented and not that they're not pigmented enough because that's not the word I'm looking for. They're pigmented yet they, how do I explain this? So if I were to use Wet n Wild eyeshadows, okay, totally different spectrum as, as far as quality. But those are pigmented, but they can be really difficult to blend because they're almost too pigmented. Like you place it on and you're like, oh boy, there's no going back from this. This is not, these are not like that. These are very, very well done shadows where you can place it exactly where you want it and just blend it out to your heart's content. And then you just keep building on. My favorite color, hands down, without a doubt. It's probably not the most exciting color to a lot of you guys, but Kristen and I both agreed that it's just done so well and it is this color right here. It is a matte brown, dark brown. The consistency of this is like unsalted butter softened at room temperature that's been sprinkled with a little bit of gold dust. I don't even know how to describe this other than it is just gorgeous. It's non-powdery. It's pigmented but not hard to blend. It is just stunning. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I will link um, Kristen's Kristen's channel down below so that if you have any um, 
questions on how to order this palette, she will be more than happy to guide you in the right direction. Um, I know that you can only order this by email or on the phone. Campa Cosmetics currently does not have a website, but it is a beautiful palette. And um, oh, I just, I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing the, so I'm wearing that. I'm wearing this bronzy color all over the lid over top of Indian wood. I'm wearing the gold tapped right into the center. I'm wearing this bad boy um, under the brow bone. I'm wearing this in the inner corner and I'm wearing a little bit of the brown just to deepen things up a little tiny bit in the very outer corner. That's it. I didn't even want to wear a liner because I just love the way this looked because it wasn't too dark but yet it gave me enough color that I felt like um, I still felt like it was a, like jazzed up for during the day but Love, love, love. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at those colors. Whew, I cannot wait to wear that gold all over my eyelid. I think that's going to be a gorgeous color. So that is definitely a standout from the month for sure. When the package came, you should have seen what it looked like. I just, I ripped it and I threw the box on one side and I was like, I took a picture and I was like this, I, mm, mm. Mm. Another little eyeshadow I wanted to mention, a little eyeshadow quad, I guess you could call it, that I wanted to mention is this little baby. And this is the Revealed Palette Sampler from Coastal Scents that was sent to me, that was sent in my order when I placed the order. And I wore this throughout my entire five days that I was on vacation. This is all I brought. I showed you guys what I was bringing. And this is a really, really good little quad. It's perfect for a day or two if you're traveling. These are gorgeous colors. It's very small swatches because I can't really fit my fingers in there that well, but these are gorgeous. And I haven't played around with the Coastal Scents, um, all of them yet, but if you would like me to do like a hits or a misses from the order that I got from Coastal Scents, let me know down below. Give me a thumbs up or just let me know and I would love to do it for you because I have gotten some questions about what my favorite products were from Coastal Scents and what I didn't think were worth it. Um, and I would love to do that for you if you would find that interesting. So make sure you let me know. And now for the last thing I want to talk about as far as favorites is what I'm wearing on my lips. Now I wore this, I think I wore this in a video already, but I definitely wore it in a picture on Instagram. And I'll leave my Instagram down below along with Twitter and um, Facebook. If you don't follow me, you should. Um, especially on Instagram because you can really get, I mean everywhere really, but on Instagram it's a like, it's, it's a bit more, um, it's a little bit of everything. It's, it's makeup, it's food, it's my family, so you guys will get really, uh, you'll get a good sense of, of, of who I am and what I do on a daily basis. But I posted a picture wearing this lip stuff and uh, everybody wanted to know the color. Now, this is something that I'm obsessed with. If you don't like matte lips, you will not like this because this is quite matte, but I love that it just doesn't go anywhere. Once it's on the lips, it is on for good. And what I'm talking about, first of all, I take, the, I take this NYX retractable lip liner in nude pink and I line my lips with this and fill in my lips with this lip liner and then, like I need to swatch it, and then I go over top of that with um, this NYX soft matte lip cream in San Paolo. Oh my God. I'm so obsessed. It's like a deep, that's what they look like side by side. Let me finish. That's what they look like side by side, but on top of each other, I'm wearing it on my lips right now. It's just, ooh, it's gorgeous. It's a really deep, I'm, gonna call, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder to figure out what I want to call this color. It's not bright pink, but not, I don't know. It's like a mauve pink, like a mauve pink, but it's just, oh, I love that it doesn't go anywhere. I love <laughs> it doesn't go anywhere. The only time this goes away if I'm eating or drinking, if it, it doesn't go away if I'm eating out of a straw, if eating out of a straw. It doesn't go away if I'm drinking out of a straw. It doesn't really go away if I'm eating either. The only time it goes away when I'm eating is if I'm eating something that's got an oil, like it's, if it's oily, if it's a dressing or if I'm slurping, then it starts to kind of come off a bit. But for the most part, this will stay on your lips forever until you take it off. I love it. I absolutely love it. Definitely my favorite lip product of the month. Clearly it's going back, it's going into November because today it's in November and I'm still rocking it. So that tells you something. Two fails. This kills me to say this because I love this product, but I don't know what happened. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. You'll have to let me know if any of you have had this issue. 
I love this found the foundation itself is a beautiful foundation I got this about six months ago and it's got a really beautiful skin like finish which I love but I actually wore this today just because I wanted to know if maybe the day that I had an issue with this maybe I was going crazy but whatever I tried it again today this oxidized so bad that it is straight up orange I mean I look like an Oompa Loompa came over and took you won't be able to really see I mean it is straight up well maybe you will do you guys see that it is straight up orange now I it was not like that when I got it absolutely not it did have quite a warm undertone which works really well for me because I have warm undertones as far as my skin goes but this is just not I cannot even make it work I tried to make it work this morning when I was putting on my makeup and um, I had to take off my entire face of makeup because I just did not like the way my face looked it looked orange it didn't look like no it was just not working for me so unfortunately I'm gonna have to give this a like I'm gonna have to toss this because I think it oxidized and I'm so bummed the color I have it in is warm neutral 4.5 I'm really curious to know if any of you have had this issue I would love to know uh, but it's just not I'm just really disappointed that it just oxidized the way it did it is really orange so bummer real bummer and then the last thing I'm going to talk about today which is a total fail for me this is the Josie Moran argan aluminizing powder this is how I got this one off of Hot Look about a month ago when they were having a special there's no smell the color is beautiful it's kind of like a tan color I don't know how one is supposed to put this on their face without looking like you just rolled in some sand I don't know if you can really see how powdery that is but there is no way you can look at that I have to show you this are you seeing all the powderiness there is no way one can wear this look at that there's no way one can wear this on their face without looking like they just rolled around in powder. It, to me, what makes a really good highlighter is that it has to be smooth enough to just look like, to just, to not look like it's just sitting on your skin. It needs to look like it's almost a part of your skin. That's what makes a really good highlighter in my opinion. This does not this this does not blend. this literally sits and then falls and it is just not a good look this is not a good look for anybody so I'm really disappointed I was so excited to give this a try um, and when I found out it was on Hot Look I was like I jumped to 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 pick it up but I did not care for it at all very powdery too powdery for my liking so that's gonna have to be a pass those are my favorites and my fails I hope that you found this fun and helpful let me know what you think about bringing back weekly favorites um a couple of things I wanted to tell you guys one is thank you so much for all of you who give me so many great suggestions on what to do as far as my shoes that are too big a lot of you suggested the foot pedals and then some of you suggested like little inserts that you use for your ballet shoes um, ballet flats so I ordered some of those from Amazon so I'm looking forward to getting those in and also a big thank you to all of you who um, told me that the Lorac Mega Pro was back on Amazon. I was able to snatch one up. I was able to, to grab one. And uh, then as soon as I checked out and I went back to see if there was any more for sale, um, they were completely sold out again. Now, I wanted to thank all you guys and also wanted to thank uh, Michelle. She's actually a subscriber of mine uh, who has a beauty channel, which I will link down below. Her beauty channel is called Ready, Set, Glamour. Yeah, glamour or glamours. I can't remember. I have the worst memory ever. Um, I'm subscribed to her channel and I watch her every single new video that comes up, so I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> I'm having my mind blank, but I will leave her link below. She tweeted that the Amazon that Amazon had it back in stock, and uh, it was a combination of her and you guys that made me go out and order it. So I will report back as far as um, how I like it and yada yada yada. But um, I just wanted to say thank you for letting me know that it was back in stock and. Do I have anything else to say? Oh, on Wednesday, if you see the same get up again, don't don't mind me. I'm just sharing another haul with you. It's uh, my my Banana Republic stuff finally came in, and plus I ordered a few more things. I figured I might as well share it with you. So that's coming up on Wednesday, and um, Friday's my birthday. I'll be turning a big two eight twenty eight. 
which is all good. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I don't know why. I just It's like, you guys, I literally feel like you're here, and we're just having a long conversation. So thank you so much for watching. Again, I will leave Michelle's link down below along with Kristen's link down below, and uh, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.